So in this video, I want to introduce you to the laws of logarithms. And what I want to do first is to remind you of converting from exponential to logarithmic form. So when we have the form of log base b of y is equal to x, then we write b to the power of x is equal to y. So this is the logarithmic form. This is the exponential form. b to the power of x is equal to y. So we read it that way round. Now, what if the y value was b to the x itself? So if I replace y with b to the x, OK, what we're saying there is b to the x is b to the x, unsurprisingly. So this is our first identity that we should be aware of. And what this is really saying is that if you have log base 2 of 2 to the x, then this is going to be x. So if you change that to be 500, then this is 500. OK? Um, if you have log base 7 of 7 to the minus 8, then that's going to be minus 8. So if this base number and this number are the same, then the value of that log is just that power. OK? So that is essentially what that identity is saying. And it's quite useful to have that under our belt uh, in utilising and introducing the laws of logarithms. OK? So keep that in mind as we work our way through. So what we're going to do uh, to introduce the laws of logarithms is, first of all, decide that I'm going to let capital M be b to the x, and I'm going to let capital N be b to the y. OK, so I'm going to introduce capital M and capital N. Then, if I go from exponential form to logarithmic form, then x is going to be log base b of m. So b to the x is m. And from this equation to logarithmic form, y will be log base b of n. OK, so we're going to utilise that um, to bring in our laws. So the first law of logarithms that we are going to introduce is referred to as the product rule. OK, so we have the product rule first. So the product rule looks at a product. So we're going to be multiplying m and n together within a logarithm. So we're going to have log base b of m times n. OK, so what is log base b of m times n? Well, m and n, we know, are b to the x and b to the y. That's how we define them. So we can write this as log base b of b to the x times b to the y. OK? Now, using our index laws, we can write b to the x times b to the y as b to the x plus y. So log base b of b to the x plus y. In fact, I can get rid of those brackets now, I think. OK. Now, compare this with what we've got up here. Log base b of b to the x plus y would have to be the same thing as x plus y. OK? For precisely the same reason as if that's 3, then that would be 3. If x plus y is 5, then that has to be 5. Now, what was x plus y? Well, in logarithmic form, it was log base b of m 
plus log base b of n. So what this is showing is that log base b of m times n is the same as log base b of m plus log base b of n. That is the product rule. So now I'm going to show you the quotient rule. So the quotient rule, quotient is an old-fashioned word for um, fraction or division. Um, I say old-fashioned, I mean, we still use it in places, so here, and we use it in differentiation as well. Uh, we talk about quotients and remainders when we do division, but it always feels a bit archaic. So the quotient rule looks at a quotient, so m divided by n. And we're going to run through this in the same way. So log base b of b to the x over b to the y. OK, because m and n are b to the x and b to the y, respectively. We can now use our law of indices to write that as log base b of b to the x minus y, because we're going to subtract the powers. So this would just be, from our rule up here, x take away y. And x was log base b of m, and y was log base b of n. So that means that log base b of m over n is the same as log base b of m take away log base b of n. And so that is the quotient rule. OK? So last thing is the power rule. OK, so that's what we're going to look at. Okay. So the power rule looks at, uh, now I'm just going to focus on one of these, okay, so I'll ignore the n, we're just going to focus on one of them, and I'm going to raise m to the power of p, okay, so we're going to have log base b of m to the p, okay, now m is b to the x, so I can write that as log base b of b to the x to the p. Now using our laws of indices, we know that that will be log base b of b to the x times p. And from this, we know that that will just be x times p. Now x is log base b of m, so I'll write that as p times by log base b of m. And here we have the power rule. So uh, you can see that log base b of m to the p is the same as p log base b of m. So that power that we have there can be removed and brought down to the front. Or vice versa, you can bring that p up to the power, like so. OK, so these are the three rules. So I'm just going to get rid of the working so that we can just see more clearly. OK, so we've got them all in a line. So we have log base b of m times n is the same as log base b of m plus log base b of n. We have log base b of m take away log base b of n. And the power rule will be p log base b of m. OK, so these are the three rules that we need to know and we need to be able to work with. OK? And we've also got this one, OK, that is incredibly useful. Two results that can come from that is that if we have log base b of b, so b to the 1, then that would have to be equal to 1. 
So the x here is 1, and so that must be 1. We also have that if x is 0, then log base b of b to the 0, which is 1, must be that. That's when x is 0. So this is when x is 1. This is when x is 0. So we now know that the log of any base, okay, any allowable base, of 1 is 0. Log base 5 of 1 is 0. Log base 7 of 1 is 0. Log base a million of 1 is 0. Uh, they're all 0. Whereas log base 7 of 7 is 1. Log base 2 of 2 is 1. Log base 3 of 3 is 1. So that allows you to convert them very quickly. And so these are the laws of logarithms that we need to know.